I'm not sure about the secrets part. It's more like a miserable little pile of I can't even. Well, folks, finding a good and relevant sponsor is kind of tricky, so I'm glad that Ridge offered to help out with this video. Their flagship product is the Ridge Wallet. A wallet is something that everybody needs, right? And uh, mine is kind of thick. They have a tendency to develop a mind of their own and turn to Pac-Man, accumulate all kinds of stuff. And uh, this is kind of the opposite approach, minimalist approach, where you just have everything you need but no more. It consists of two plates bound with a durable elastic strap and there is a number of different options like carbon fiber for the tactical crowd, uh, titanium, aluminum, different finishes like burnt, gunmetal, OD green, various colors. You can see it from the side how it holds credit cards and money. So just simple neat way to organize everything and they offer a lifetime warranty. They also have other products with a minimalist design like a backpack, phone cases, a duffel bag, a knife. I'll probably test and review the knife and maybe some other stuff after the move in September. So check out the website. I'll leave the link down below. There will be a coupon code that you can use to get 10% off. And yeah, that's it. Let's get to the rant. Well, I'm not usually one for roasting people or poking at their mishaps. But I feel this one's pretty relevant and a pretty extreme case that may serve as a warning for people to be safe. All right, so this is the video that I came upon. Axe weight loss training goes wrong. Now, I don't know anything about these people involved in the video. I don't know what they usually do. I don't know what the context is. And of course, context is important. But in this case, I honestly can't imagine any context that would make this less astonishingly reckless. Okay, so he's got an axe, a steel axe, clearly sharpened and polished. You can see the bevel. Uh, what could he possibly do with that for training purposes? Oh, I don't know. How about hit this other dude with it? Okay, this is, this is going to be really hard. I won't be able to do this with a straight face. It's going to be very hard to not go full dick and, and just tear everything apart and be Maybe I should. You know what? Maybe I should be. There comes a point where just you shouldn't even try to be polite anymore. This is absolutely ridiculous, reckless, mindless. I, I, I can't even like there's no reason ever to have added with a training partner with a sharp blade and proving what a testosterone overdosed macho badass you are does not count as a valid reason. Nothing is a valid reason. Maybe if you're a high level instructor with a lot of experience, you can do some controlled drills with sharp blades to see how they act up with swords, for example, to see how the bind is and, and all the controlled with protective gear, not, oh, hold this piece of wood, I'm gonna hit you. It gets worse. Look at the shield. Look at the shield here, you, there on the inside. You can see that it's bad enough to do this. But with this type of shield, where you just have your arm just resting against the wood, just strapped to it, no padding, no nothing, no boss. This would be bad enough. This half invisible shield, this would be bad enough. But at least you have something covering your hand. There's there's steel covering the hand. This could be safe in a controlled way, but that, I mean, I'll, I'll just let you see what happens. I don't even know why he gets a mallet. There. See that? Let's look at that again in slow-mo, shall we? Crunch. And he's, he's looking down like, uh-oh. Something happened. Something completely unpredictable happened that you would never have thought of. Oh, uh, by the way, if you can't stand the sight of blood, you may want to look away between now and I'll let you know when you can look again, if that's a problem for you. I mean, if, if you're subscribed to my channel, that shouldn't really be a problem, I hope, but there you go. I'm also confused by the buff guy's reaction. I mean, look at that. Boom. And he's like, heh, <laughs> 
Oh, oh, I did a thing, huh? Dude, what? I'm assuming that's the instructor or maybe a friend, I don't know. But either way, if I realized that I had seriously hurt my training partner, let alone a student or a client, I would be like, oh shit, I'm sorry. I, l let me look at that and, and, you know, do first aid or whatever. Not like, uh, no real reaction. Like, uh, is this not the first time that happened? Like, is, are they used to that at this point? Do they just keep wrecking each other in regular intervals and just like, oh, hmm, yeah, well, band-aid on there. Just a flesh wound. Well, I hope this dude is okay considering the circumstances. Stuff like this can go really bad. If you sever tendons or ligaments, you can get permanent injuries from that, crippling injuries, and th there's so much that can go wrong here. It's, it's unbelievable that anyone could think this is a good idea. Even blunt steel axes have an inherent risk for injury, especially when used without any kind of protective gear other than a wooden shield, which axes are known to demolish. Even rubber axe heads can hit pretty hard if used with too much force. It's just the nature of an axe. It's a hard hitter. They do a lot of damage. And then to use a sharp one? I frankly can empathize with Dracula being done with humans as a species, although I'm not sure about the secrets part. It's more like a miserable little pile of I can't even. I said I don't know the details here, I don't know who they are, or any credentials or whatever, I don't know the context, but seriously, there is, there is none. There, there's no context that would justify any of this, even for a second. And this is one of those things that make me wonder how have human beings just managed to go on for this long without going extinct. I mean, we're obviously working on it, but that we've made it this far is, is kind of astonishing com considering the tools we have at our disposal for our self-destruction. Yeah, so uh, suffice to say, please don't be this level of I don't give a shit. I mean, Sharp blades do not belong in training against a training partner made of flesh and blood. I don't care who has done that before and who has had enough luck to get away with it. It's just, that's, that's a big no. And it's not worth the risk. So please don't do that. I hope the guy is fine. Uh, at least, again, uh, considering the circumstances. And uh, don't underestimate the power of axes. They are no joke. Anyway. Thanks for listening to this rant. I hope you found it uh, entertaining or otherwise worthwhile. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good one, folks. Be safe.